Contrary to what you may think, I have had a fabulous time in Canada. Okay. I'm not even joking. And do you know what? What Ezra said was totally correct. If I hadn't had the support of Ezra, of Rebel Media, of every one of you who supported that campaign, if I also didn't have social media thanks to Elon Musk, I guarantee you... When people like Tommy begin to speak out, Canada. what they do is use the law, lawfare, that, that we call it, they use the lawfare to contain that voice so that he can't spread, uh, spread that virus, the, the, the message of free speech that they believe is a virus. We support everything that he stands for as an activist, as a person. I really think to arrest Tommy like that was to expose the corruption in Canada, such corruption. We are now in Toronto and tonight it is the Tommy Robinson event. We were not sure if this event will happen because obviously you probably all know that Tommy got arrested in Calgary. But we managed with our lawyer to get him free and back on track and now we are here at Ellington Grant and we are going to ask a couple of questions to the attendees to know First of all, why it was important for them to be here tonight and what was their reaction regarding Tommy being arrested? So let's check it out. Why it was important for you to be here tonight? I think uh, we, Tommy Robinson needs more people to understand him, see his background. It's all about freedom, make England or Britain great again, as he said. And he's here in Canada, and I think the Canadian freedom fighters also need to know, that all of Canada actually should know about Tommy Robinson, how important he is. Tommy Robinson is like a folk hero, and I find that uh, our government is trying to shut people down like him, who can stand out and s just stick to their guns. And it's important for people like that to be supported, especially since he's done time for us. I want to be there. I want to be part of this history. This is history for me. and. Uh, you know, for our kids or grandkids, and uh, we have to keep on fighting. Tommy is representative of all of us in the West, and right now we see what's going on in all of the Western countries. We see it in, with our Congresses. We see it with the different various parliaments in the Western countries, how they're attending, uh, attempting to usurp the will of their people by importing chaos and immigrants from other countries where there, where there is chaos. And Tommy Robinson is one of the leading voices in the world to combat that. My son. Yep. experienced uh, violence at the hands of recent immigrants and it was uh, devastating for our family and it took us a long time to get over it and I didn't realize what the true event was until I heard Tommy Robinson talking about um, how they do it what happens and then you start to understand oh my god that's what it was. People for 10 years or 15 years prior to this have been whispering about Islam, whispering when they're talking about it, not wanting to offend people. All of a sudden, 10,000 English men are screaming through the cities. You're free to criticize religion in Canada, whether Christianity or any religion. But if you criticize Islam, you are called racist. And so I'm here because Tommy Robinson's voice needs to be heard. Even if I don't agree with everything he says, to be here is to support freedom of speech and to be against the cancellation of dissenting views. We support everything that he stands for as an activist, as a person. So yeah, we're happy to be here. Really respect Tommy and, and what he stands for and because of what's going on in Canada. We, we need the same here, we need brave people, and I, I want to I wanna hear from people like Tommy. He is fighting radical Islam, and that is Islamophobia today, and that's just ridiculous, and I really support Tommy and what he's trying to do. I'm um, concerned about the potential Islamification of Canada. Uh, we see it in our streets. It's already happened in the UK, and um, we need to. Ha I'm concerned about what's potentially happening here. We used to live here, like in communist country, like in Poland. So, for us, the freedom and freedom of speech is most important. One of the most important things, and we follow Tommy Robinson from beginning, like. When he started, he was just ordinary man. I followed Tommy for a long time. I'm originally from Scotland, just via Lekos. And um, yeah, I just wanted to see him come over here, all the trouble he went through to get here. We got to support him. When I was leading the English Defence League, in the first 12 months, I used to fake name, Tommy Robinson. As many of you know, my name is Stephen Yaks Lenners. 
like him to tell everyone. But I used a fake name and there was a journalist called Stephen Bird. And when he, he went to my mum's house and then I thought, shit, they know. They, they know who I am, yeah? Because, and when I went to meet him, he was fair. He said, Stephen, your life changes tomorrow. You're on the front page of the Times newspaper. We're unmasking you as the leader of the English Defence League. Now what this meant was I'm in danger from tomorrow. Yeah? That's why I used the fake name. I'm just happy to be here to, um, I always go to the Rebel News events so that I can learn and grow and what's going on in Canada and um, be with people that are like-minded. What was your reaction when he got arrested? Uh, I, you know, I was a little bit shocked, but I did buy my tickets beforehand because I just had a feeling something was going to happen like that. And um, I think it's on par with what our government's been doing lately, and it's, a, it's shameful. That was terrible. That's on call for. The, the thing is, he got through to the immigration, and then later on they said, oh, by the way, we have, what is it, a warrant or something? I don't know what. Like, come on. You know, he cleared immigration. And then you don't clear. How about all those illegal people that come into Canada with no documents? I was shocked. I was really shocked. You know, he didn't do anything wrong. And the, the, the call for immigration, and you can see it was had to do with Trudeau. This is just, and, and what are they thinking? You know, like, they, they don't get any good publicity about this. It's wrong. Well, you know, I just thought it was kind of par for the course uh, for a government like uh, like Trudeau's. It's it's par for the course for a government like the United States, uh, for the UK. Um, they want to suppress free speech. You know, to, Tommy is dangerous to them. Tommy is a threat to them. So if they can silence Tommy by um, in, uh, incapacitating him or co co confining him to a, a city like Calgary where he can't go and attend these speaking events, they will prevent him from spreading his message. I was upset. I, I couldn't believe that he had been arrested. But then again, knowing our government and their way that they handle people that they don't like, then I thought, yeah, maybe that's, that's something that could obviously happen. And I thought they were just trying to keep him in Alberta and not let him come here to Toronto and team up with a, a bigger group, a bigger party. My question is, why is that the government so easily can just show up somewhere to pick up Tommy? and remove him from the country, but they can't do this with the millions of other people that are coming in on a regular basis all year round to remove them from the country. Why are they focusing so hard on the wrong people? Absolutely horrible. Like the government is just disgusting because they're focused on him for no reason. Well, obviously he's a threat because he's giving a different narrative and uh, the government doesn't like the narrative he's giving because it's not theirs. I'm not surprised. I'm very disappointed to see those police, the size of them when we have so many illegal immigrants coming into Canada every day, all the time, and all that manpower there for Tommy was ridiculous, but that's where we are right now, sad to say. How would they do something so egregiously against our values of freedom of, of assembly, freedom of speech? I was upset. I thought it was despicable, and it is despicable. Our government is, this isn't Canada anymore. It's so sad. Everybody, we managed to get free Tommy Robinson to let the free speech going on. But if you want to support Tommy and help us to offset the lawyer expense that we hire to help Tommy, go over safetommy.com, chip in what you can and thank you in advance.